is just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. Thousands of people from across the world travel to Johnson County each year to visit Butcher Holler and Loretta Lynn's home place. And many of them pay a visit to the Van Leer Historical Society's Coal Miners Museum. Because the Historical Society is a nonprofit organization, they rely almost solely on donations and money raised through fundraisers. We get some funding from um, Paintsville Tourism for, you know, uh, for Van Leer Days, and that's it. That's all the fun, you know, funds we get. And one of those fundraisers is about three weeks away, the third annual Bank Mule Long Haul Half Marathon and 5K on Saturday, September 17th. And money raised from the run will actually benefit several attractions in Van Leer. It's not just the museum. It's the Rooker Park, which is the, the mini park that we own. And we own the school at Butcher Holler. And we own some property right down here with our food booth on it where we hold our music shows. Webb says it's tough enough to make the money it takes to keep the museum doors open, but when they have to make unnecessary repairs like they're doing now from recent acts of vandalism at Rooker Park, it's a tough pill to swallow. You get a just sick feeling in your stomach, you know, because you work for that money. For more information on the Bank Mule Long Haul or to register, visit the event's Facebook page or stop by the museum. Reporting in Van Leer for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.